Hello fellow YouTubers and gamers, welcome back, it's BHC Impulse here, yep, the BHC Impulse, I will be changing my name very very soon, as, as you know I am a member of the BHC clan, I uh, just need to get the Microsoft points and then it'll be changed from Xbox Impulse to BHC Impulse, so now that's all I'm doing, just changing the first map right then, let's get on with this video, as you can see it's on new, on Modern Warfare 3, it's not new telling me are, oh god, uh, is also on Baccarat, I believe it, uh, Back, is it Baccarat or Baccarat, whatever you call it, and I die only once, and I do get around about 22, maybe 23 kills, which isn't that bad for me. The reason why I'm doing this video, we're going to talk about, literally a recap on what we have learned so far about Black Ops 2. Right then, let's start off. The game, as we all know, will be based in the future, it's a future game run in the year 2025, uh, some of the missions are also going to be played in the future, but the best thing about this game is normally when you play any Call of Duty game, if you messed up one of the uh, campaigns, the game's finished and you have to redo the game. This time it doesn't. If you mess up in one of the missions in the past, it's going to change the mission in the future. It's going to make it a little lot harder. So in theory, you could play that uh, game maybe three, maybe four times and still have a different path to the uh, uh, to the end, so if that'll keep it fresh and keep it going for a while. Uh, we also found out that um, if you pre-order the game, you get Nuke Town 2025, which is a multiplayer map, which means it'll be online for everyone to play, which will be fantastic. Also, they've also done is it Zombie Nuke Town. At the moment, I'm looking on the website. Uh, let's have a look here. Yep, yeah, website. Zombie Nuketown only seems to be because they only shown on the website the Harden edition and the Prestige edition, which they call the care package for some daft reason. <laughs> right, it only shows them to. It doesn't show just the normal game we pre-order, so it doesn't say anything but Zombie Town. But it does say you do get the Z Nuketown zombies on the Harden and also on uh, the Prestige one. In the Prestige one you also get the uh, Dragonfire drone, uh, the MQ-27. It's a remote control drone, which means it's finally able to control it. You've seen it on one of the uh, videos on YouTube. It's, it's, also, it's also got its own stand you can put on to hold up, which isn't that bad. It quite, quite looks good. I like, quite like the... Uh, it comes in like a care package as well, which is very, very good. Uh, you also get a few uh, limited edition art, uh, steel cases, um, some coins, which is, uh, it's a not bad collection. Right, and when they've also uh, re released uh, their specifications for the PC. Uh, anybody who's using XP, I'm sorry guys, it ain't supported. You've got no chance to play in uh, uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 on an, on an XP operator system. Uh, so you're looking at the operating system of Vista, it's with Service Pack 2, of course, or Windows 7. It's got nothing about Windows 8, because at the moment Windows 8 isn't released, so they won't do anything about that. It's giving you a minimum uh, specific specification of CPUs, memory and video cards. So the CPU in this, minimum I'm saying, is an Intel Core Duo E8200, it's a 2.66 GHz, or an AMD Phenemon. Uh, X3-8750 2.4 GHz. Uh, they're giving you a minimum memory capacity of 2 GB for a 32-bit operating system or a 4 GB for a 64-bit. Uh, minimum graphic card is NVIDIA GeForce 8800 GT 512 MB or you've got the ATI Radeon HD 3870 512 megabytes. That's just all your minimum specification. You got, if your PC is way better than that, don't worry. Yeah, that game is going to run as smooth as uh, crystal. It's going to be absolutely brilliant. Um, we all watched uh, Gamescom, didn't we? We all watched them uh, played all those new game types. I quite like Hot Zone, which is a mixture of uh, Drop Zone and uh, Headquarters. I think it's called Hot Zone. And I thought that was fantastic. Uh, I'll be honest, I reckon what's going to happen in the future, because uh, given a few months when everyone gets used to the game, they're going to be, especially everyone I'm going to be trying to play it, is the Team Deathmatch, which is four teams of three, and that's going to promote teamwork, which is what we've been trying to do for a long time in the community. There's a lot of teams that do it out there, but it's a lot of people also that sit in corners and camp their ass off. So, 
at least with this, it's going to promote team-based games. And hopefully, I wish Activision does... Well, not like Activision. Treyarch should take us up, not Activision. Treyarch, I hope they do take a suggestion. I hope somebody suggested to somebody who works with uh, Treyarch that what they do in the future, where once everyone gets used to the game, is start doing their own tournament with uh, three... Uh, three man team deathmatch, you know, three times four, team, uh, four teams are three men. They could do their own tournament, the top two of that game go through to the next round, and you could win prizes. I think that would be a fantastic idea, and it would re uh, really put some life back into the old Call of Duty genre. Uh, also, uh, we've got the new weapons, which is going to be fantastic. Oh, they do have some old ones back in there, like the MP7 and a couple of other guns. Uh, I also like the radical, which detects anybody who's not moving. So you little campers, <laughs> don't worry, but don't stay in corners because we're gonna find you and kill you. Also like the nice little um, radical, which uh, if you aim him down, it's like a recon, you know, drone. Once you aim down, you see him. It automatically tags him, and the rest of your team sees him. I also like the fact that if you call in the UAV, you get an assist point for every time. Uh, you know, somebody kills somebody using your UAV because I think it's about time that happens because all this time you play you know you play a team based game you call in a UAV to save your teammates and what happens you don't get nothing out of it because everyone else gets all the kills and you don't get any sod all but now you get an assist which is fantastic and that is really burnt so this video is coming to the end very quickly so what I'm going to do is finish it off right now by the way, uh, also like I say, unfortunately at the moment, uh, BHC Blues and Two is his PC at the moment is slightly down, so he hasn't uploaded the video for a few days. So uh, we're gonna, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna try to get um, to record uh, one of the members, which is BHC Hero, which absolutely did a blinder a couple of days ago, and I mean he did a, he got a blackbird in 22 seconds. I know it's not the fastest around there. But that was damn fast. I mean, he went flawless for the whole game. And I'm going to be uh, recording that and getting Blue to do the uh, the commentary. And then it'll be up on this website. On, on YouTube. <laughs> I always keep saying website. I don't know why. But until next time, it's me, Will. Sign off. Bye.